Behold! The Swanson Pyramid of Greatness. I've been developing the Swanson Pyramid of Greatness for years. It's a perfectly calibrated recipe for maximum personal achievement. Categories include... Teamwork. Very important. Equally important. Selfishness. Take what's yours. America. The only country that matters. Cursing. There's only one bad word. Texas. And All righty. Good morning to you. Welcome in at six minutes or four minutes after the hour now of nine o'clock. This is 93.1 and the uh, mighty 1190. Hope you all are having a nice morning. Uh, we've been talking about this the last couple of weeks and happy to uh, finally have in the studio with us here, uh, Dr. Labyrinth. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks. So it's you be here. You was down at the uh, Medical University of South Carolina for a while and now made your way back basically home. You're from Marshville. That's right. I, sh I sure am. Or Mars uh, Vegas, as we like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I went to Forest Hills High School, and, mm. uh, yeah, so I'm a Union County native. She said, I remember when they filmed The Color Purple, and, and uh, you know. Me too. I'm from Marshville, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm born in Marshville. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're glad you're back. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. So you were at Union Oral Surgery, and then you left to join the faculty. At that, the Medical University of, of, of South Carolina. That's right. So what did you do there at the university? Well, I had an opportunity to teach dental students, which was okay. great. It was a lot of fun. I worked in the residency program there, working with oral surgery residents. And uh, we did just a lot of really complex surgery down there, folks hmm. who'd been in car accidents, who had oh. some, some, some big pathology, and, of course, hmm. regular oral surgery as well. But it was, it, was a, it was a fun and really dynamic place to work. I bet it was. Mm -hmm. I bet it was. Okay, so let's talk about uh, implants. Uh, I had one done, as, as, as you know, uh, with, uh, with Dr. Patty at Union Oral Surgery. But why should someone consider having a dental implant? There's some other options, so let's talk about it. That's right, that's right. Well, dental implants have, have several advantages. Um, one of them is that they can replace teeth uh, in a fixed way, that is, teeth that, that stay in and don't come in and out in places that we couldn't previously do that, say like the last tooth in the mouth, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is it's one of the best ways we have to help people who have dentures that don't fit well or they're not happy with the stability. Implants can help with those things. So it really expands the capabilities of what we can do for people quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the, the process. I had to have an, an extraction, um, and I, I'm telling you, it was, it was over before, you know, I, I, I thought I'm, I'm going to be here all day. You know, just you know, you fret, you know, and uh, it is surgery, and you know, uh, and it was done. I said, "What? Okay, that's it. What?" Then they cut the tooth out in three pieces. Right. He wanted to make sure he's trying to save enough bone. Exactly. You know, didn't want to be too invasive and that kind of thing. And and seemed like as soon as the Novocaine kicked in, he, that was that was it. That was done. Um. But let's talk about the process. Can you get a tooth extracted and your implant on the same day? Sometimes. Uh, so it, it really depends on the situation. Okay. Everyone's a little different. It depends on the tooth. Sometimes it depends on, on how well the tooth cooperates and comes out and how much bone is there and the quality of the bone that's there. Mm -hmm. So that's one of those things every individual is different, and it's something that we talk with people about and, and get a plan together ahead of time. But Sometimes, oftentimes, we can do that, and, and the great thing about that is it just speeds up treatment. It speeds up a person getting their tooth back a little more quickly. Yeah. In, in my case, they had to go in and put in some, uh, some, some bone material, and, you know, you got to wait. It's like pouring a driveway. I mean, you got to wait for the concrete to set. Yeah. Concrete's got to set, you know, and then, then, then you got to put the post in, let it cure or whatever the, the technical term. So there were was, was some steps along the way. But it is by far the way to go. I mean, it's permanent, five times stronger than my old tooth was. And exactly. If I exactly. take care of it, it's going to last forever. Right, right. It, it's one of the longest lasting things we have in dentistry. You don't have to do anything to the teeth on either side. Um, yeah, I explain that about a bridge. Right, right. So when you have a bridge, they end up having to prepare the teeth on either side of the space. And so that means you have a multi-piece unit. Mm -hmm. And if something goes wrong with one part of it, it can involve several teeth. Whereas oftentimes a, dim a dental implant is just involving that one area where you're missing mm -hmm. a tooth. So the other thing is that it functions. You clean around it. It really functions as much like a natural tooth. Yeah. As any as anything that you can put in there. Yeah. Has the technology on uh, on I mean I 
uh, you think a dental implant hadn't changed at all, but it's like anything else. Technology does change, and people learn how to do things they used to couldn't do and, and uh, do it better, so to speak, or more efficiently than you used to. So you've been doing this long enough. Uh, have dental implants changed a lot, the material that they use, the way they do it? Um, we ha it, Like everything else, it is constantly improving. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the materials that we use now, it's, it's still mostly titanium, but they prepare the surface in ways that we yeah. get really great success. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, the success of this procedure now is... 98 99 really is it that high yeah it's wow. extremely one of the one of the best success rates of anything that we do in medicine so it's uh you know it, it really works well and and we've been able to improve the technology to the point that we can help just about everyone with dental implants you know, mine was uh just not knock wood mine was absolutely perfect i mean when when they put the crown on everything matched it was just it's like but, uh, a it's like know, a carpenter building building it's, something it's and like, then it it's being like, like Dink Taylor level and finishing straight. up the project. Yes, I told Archie he should just the one right above it or below it just get it done for no reason. You could crack hickory nuts and things, you know, five <laughs> times stronger. Well, as real it turns piece. out, my tooth below the implant there you go. was cracked. See, and I had to get a crown on it. Repeat so, customer. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will insurance cover an implant? Some people's will, and some people, it, it really depends on how your policy is written. Yeah. I know in our office, when you come in, uh, we try to try to contact your insurance and find that out for yeah. you so yeah. that day you have a, the best possible idea of what your That's benefit right. will be. Yeah. Uh, I can answer this, but I'd like, like you to answer it. Uh, will it hurt to get an implant? You know, I think most people are really pleasantly surprised with how little discomfort is associated with this. It's most folks tell us it's very comparable to having a tooth taken out, store for a couple of days, and then pretty much back to life as normal. You can, you had one, so how, you know, how was well, your experience? Well, I've got two different experiences. Um, had one implant, but I've had uh, two extractions. The first one, uh, I never had done the sedation thing before. I thought this was, you know, uh, yeah, sounds like the way to go. It, for me, it was not. And I'll tell you why. It's because I'm a big guy used to be a lot bigger and my wife is uh, you know 100 pounds dripping wet so you're given like three pills or something you take one 30 minutes before you leave take one when you're leaving by the time i got there i'm whoa i'm needing <laughs> help one of the guys here at the radio station took me uh but it was my wife that had to get me home and i don't remember much about it and her trying to get me in the car get me out of the car up the stairs so when I had my second one done, I said, you know what, I, I'm going to forego that and just do the Novocaine. And I'm telling you, it was, because uh, I've had other extractions at the regular dentist. And the last tooth I had extracted like, like that was uh, abscess. I thought the dentist, who's a great dentist, I thought he was going to put his shoe on, on my chest trying to get that tooth out. I mean, it, he struggled. It was bad. It was bad. I was I was just really nervous because there was so much pressure. I thought my whole jaw was coming out uh, at the regular dentist. But at Union Oral Surgery, that tooth came right out. It's just different. I don't know what you guys do over there that's different. It's the whole experience is different from the office setting. I, I don't know. It's just really bizarre. It, well, it's great. I mean, we've got tremendous great people over there, Dr. Patty. Um, you know, I'm proud to be part of the team. And, you know, a big part of it is experience. I guess uh, it you is. know, we trained we trained uh, a long time to do this. We have just we've put you know between the two of us thousands of implants in over the years. It's what we do day in and day out, and so you know. It's also people skills. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. You got to have people skills. No, you, the, the if, staff over there yeah. it just makes you if, feel so relaxed. When you walk into a, a that kind of setting, you need to trust whoever those people are, and if and if you've got the right people in place, and and the customer feels like they can trust you. It just makes it easier, I, you know, in yeah. anything, not just this, but in anything. In it's life. like we say, this is, for many people, this is their first experience yeah. with a surgery. They're like, know. oh, now, what do you mean surgery? Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. right. So, once he, now his implant's done, it's all healed up. Is there any, like, special aftercare you have to do with these, or is it just, you just treat it like any other tooth? Well, you know, you, you need to take care of it pretty much like your normal teeth. Mm -hmm. So you still need to go in, get those cleanings, get those, you know, six-month or more frequently yeah. checkups with your with your dentist. But 
you clean around it, you floss around it, it functions like a like a normal natural tooth. Y'all gave me some little tiny little things to go in there or something. Honestly, I gonna be I hadn't used them yet. He <laughs> lost them. He lost them in the car. I don't know where they're in my drawer. <laughs> But, I mean, they're supposed to help get in there better or something. I, I don't right, know. Right, right. Clean around it. Yeah. You know, and there's nothing. The best thing you can do to take care of your mouth is keep it clean. I yeah. mean, uh, yeah. and people think sometimes, you know, the more dental work you get in your mouth, actually, it becomes more and more important to keep it clean, yeah, not less. Yeah, that's right. The more that's... dental work you have in your mouth, the more important it is yeah. to, to clean it and take care of it and get let that hygienist get in there and take care of it for you. Yeah. Do you need an implant for every tooth that, that you're missing? I, I was going to, that's a good yeah. question, because you said something earlier about, you said people sometimes will have dentures, and they don't feel like, and I know they're not, okay, let's take the dentures out and put in 32 implants. I know that's <laughs> yeah. not what they're doing, so. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, no, you do not need an implant for every tooth. Sometimes we can still do bridges built on implants. Um, and the other thing is oftentimes, you know, folks are unhappy with their dentures. They move around too much. And so these implants, which are, are basically like titanium posts, sometimes two or four of those will provide that stability where that denture will kind of click in or snap in oh, I see. over those posts. And, boy, th those are some of the happiest people when they when they've really... Uh, struggle with that denture yeah. for years and, and years, and they finally feels... have something that'll yep. kind of snug or snap in. Yeah, uh, it can be a real, real life changer. All right, so that's something to keep in mind. If if you wear dentures and they do move around and you're just not happy with them, going in and having some implants to act as as posts to hold those dentures may be a you great know, idea. Right, right. All this stuff. You know what all this stuff has in common? Mm. You need to go. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm I'm not. I mean, there's a lot of people uh, that don't take the best care of their teeth you're young and you feel like hey i'm fine nothing wrong with me and then you get older and you finally say god i wish i took care of my teeth you know when i was a teenager and through my 20s and you wouldn't have as much to do now you know uh, but that's just life that's no, no what shane said is, is is so true you know as kids we're told you know brush your teeth mm -hmm. floss all that yeah yeah but it, it really is important yeah down the road yeah i mean you can save yourself a ton of heartache mm -hmm. by taking care of your teeth yeah so, uh, did uh, you came from the uh, Charleston area? Were, were you, you had moved down there. I had moved down okay. there. Okay, mm -hmm. so you've moved back. You're in the process. I'm in the yeah. I'm in the process of, of kind of moving back, and I am back here in North Carolina. Oh, so yeah. you're newly back. Okay, so you yeah. hadn't been that. I told her, I said, you came from a place where it's equator hot. She's like, yep, sure, oh, yeah. sure, yeah. at this time yeah. of year. He so, said, do you miss it? I said, not this time of oh. year. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. So, what made you decide to come back? Nor home. Yeah. Home. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to get back closer to family. Um, How long were you? Taking care of the people here. How long were you away? It was about 10 years. Oh, wow. Oh. So you were established down there. You you yeah. had made new friends and mm -hmm. the whole deal. Right. Good for you. Well, you got to see a little bit of the world, did you? <laughs> and then come back home. That's right. <laughs> what we all end up doing <laughs> eventually. Would you say, uh, would you say that there's a, uh, age bracket for people who, who would look into an implant or is this something let's just say you're a teenager because sometimes even as a teen you lose a tooth something you know, has to come out of it or is there an age too young or too old to say oh, i don't need to worry about it um really not too old i mean really, really nobody's too old uh you know uh if, if you're in pretty good health we can usually do this for you in in younger people we do want people to pretty much have finished their growth that's right yeah before yeah. we do this uh, so you know uh for guys, you know, we want to see them in their late teens, early 20s. For girls, sometimes a little younger, late teens. Um, but, but yeah, so as long as you're you're not growing anymore, we can usually do an implant. You know, it's interesting as we, we, we talk about it. Um, the doctors work, you know, from three-day-old newborns to patients nearing 100 and all ages uh, in between. But... Uh, the doctors there can perform dental procedures to help babies nurse. Talk about that. Yeah, that, I, I wonder. I don't understand how, how that kind of fits into yeah, everything. Yeah. Well, we do. We treat all ages. And one of the things that can happen sometimes with, with really young infants is they'll be tongue-tied. I don't know if you've ever heard of anybody being tongue-tied where that attachment of their tongue, their tongue is kind of bound down and oh. they can't kind of latch on and nurse with the yeah. mothers. So sometimes we can do procedures to help release that tongue just really? a little bit so that they can nurse a little bit better. Wow. Well, I see, that would be, like that. That, that, that's got to be a whole different animal when you're doing dental work on oh a baby. God. You know what I mean? That's got to be altogether different. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. 
And the, as far as the wisdom teeth, is that mostly teenagers? Uh, are you going to be in your teen years when you, you know, because sometimes they come in crooked or crowded or whatever. Is most of that going to happen in the teen years? Uh, yeah. It, well, I'll tell you, that's the best time to do it. It absolutely is the best time to do it. When you're a teenager and you know there's no space for those teeth or you can see they're turned sideways, it's the best time to do it. You're healthy. Uh, you're going to bounce back. It's going to heal well. Um, and for a lot of folks, that's their first surgical experience. Mm-hmm. So we enjoy being mm-hmm. able to get them in and get a really good, positive first dental or dental surgical experience for them. But, you know, we take out wisdom teeth. Sometimes folks are a little bit older, and we do that too. But, boy, it's great to get them out when you're a teenager if you can. It just Well, you're going to heal faster, all, all that stuff. Yeah, you know, teenagers, they just, they're like daisies. They just, just bounce pop, back. You know, bounce right back up. Yeah, those days. That's right. <laughs> now, of course, uh, you know, pain is a concern for, for people. Heck yeah. Um, um, you have medication that can calm the nerves before a procedure uh, to sedation. Dentistry, local anesthesia in the office, uh, it just depends on the patient, right? And, and and I know every experience I've had at Union Oral Surgery, I'm counseled as to, you know, let, let's talk about your procedure and what you may want to do as, as far as pain control. Exactly. So, and a lot of, of what I'm probably saying here is that it, all of this is really individualized. Mm-hmm. Everybody's situation is different, and when folks come in, we talk with them about what they need in order to have the procedure comfortably, and we talk about all the options, and we can do a, a whole lot of different things from from just the Novocaine or local to light sedation to deeper sedation, whatever people need. Yeah, and, you know, for a younger person or especially a child, you know, if you know you, you help them out of there, take them home, they're going to go to bed, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just the perfect way, way, to, way to do it. Uh, for, for me, though, after, you know, I was a grown adult and I like, you know, I don't want to put my wife through this again because <laughs> I was a little different. I, could, I couldn't be carried out. You know, now you uh, had a ribeye that night. I think that same. Y'all went to the steak. I went to Ruth Chris. I, or I something. don't remember he's, much he's about he's it. Telling on you. That's no, not I remember. I know. I mean, <laughs> I didn't tell <laughs> about the, the, my I doctor. Mean, that's this listed one. over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not not the one where you were sedated. This last one. It was a hamburger steak. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> little little easier. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I know. I know you don't do this. I just want to want to mention it. But uh, I say what one of the best kept secrets. A lot of people know Union Oral Surgery, and they're familiar with, with you being a Marshall native and Dr. Patty. has been here since the mid-'90s, and all the, the skin care services uh, that are offered are unbelievable. Um, uh, Botox, facial rejuvenation, I mean, these uh, medical-grade facials, I mean, this is not some, you know, old facial you get on the beach at Punta Cana. This is medical grade stuff going on here, and the the voodoo facials. This is so voodoo. Cool. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm listening now. Plasma facials. I mean, this is right, you know. right. So you're you're right. You know, we oral maxillofacial surgeons. So our our training is is lengthy and very broad, and mm-hmm. so those are some of the things that are offered in the practice that people may not be aware of. I, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. Isn't it a, from doing this for so long, though, isn't it a good feeling when you see somebody come in and, and they're having a, an obvious problem, no matter what it is, painful or just aggravated, and then and then be happy when it's over? I mean, that that's the ultimate reward is for somebody to say, hey, I, I'm happy. You know, this is great. Well, restoring smiles. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Absolutely. You know, I mean, you know, dental and oral health, to me, is such a big component of a quality of life for people. And uh, that was really, I think, what, what made me want to go into it was I just thought, you know, being able to eat what you want, um, being able to smile and be comfortable in social situations, I mean, those are the things that make life life good for people. So uh, being able to be part of that for folks is tremendous. Confidence. Yeah. Well, no, no one no one likes to go to the dentist, that kind of thing. But, but I, I'm, I'm telling you, as you get older, you, you know, you're going to have some things. You're going to get a bad tooth with an abscess or, or you're going to get TMJ. Uh, you know, or any other, you know, things that can happen. Some people need uh, gum grafting. Our daughter's going through that now with, with uh, Dr. Patty. Uh, things happen. Right. You know, it's just nice to know that there's such a wonderful practice that can take care of these things when we need it. Right, right. Nobody really wants to be there, but it's good to know we're there. They're, they're happy They're happy to see us when they need us. Well, that's, I, that's true. I, I really, though, still wish y'all could have got Archie's in Chrome. I, I just, I was really... <laughs> Really hoping to see chrome or some kind of pearlescent, you know, red, just something out of the ordinary. But he chose to 
And, and the other thing is, too, people think this. They think, okay, is this thing going to stick out like a sore thumb? Is it going to be white as, you know, cotton and when the rest of And it's actually not. They actually match it to oh, it's your just, teeth. It's, it's kind of amazing at how close it is. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. The materials that we use these days mm-hmm. are, are tremendous, and yeah, they can do a beautiful natural job. It sure oh, is. Yeah, no, and and make make and can make the crown in the office while while you wait. I well, mean, we it's, it's crazy. Well, we sure are glad you decided to come home, and we're glad yes. you came in and talked to us today. Well, thank you. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, I had no idea that 178 million Americans are missing a tooth or more. I know. <laughs> That's I know. A lot. <laughs> Wow. Nobody else stays so busy. That's right. We've got plenty of work to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, thank you for your time. Uh, welcome back home. Uh, I, I guess soon enough you'll have your move completed, be back here all the way. And uh, and uh, you're already back to work, so you'd love to see people if they want to come see you. That's right. We'd so you're seeing see patients you. here in Monroe and Wellness Boulevard, also in Mint Hill? That's correct. Mm-hmm. Kind of split your time between yes, the two? Yes, split my time right now. Between okay. The two. That's good. There's a video of you, by the way. I guess you've seen oh, it. Oh, I know. There sure <laughs> is. <laughs> At unionoralsurgery.com if, if people want to uh, to see that. and um, They're not proud. They did one of me. At replaceyourtooth.com. I don't know if you saw that's that. That's right. I've seen experience. that one. They ain't very picky either. <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right. We appreciate it. Th- thank you, Dr. Library. Thanks a lot. Mm-hmm. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more of The Breakfast Club. Y'all hang on. More coming up right after this. 